G'day Australia and um, welcome to uh, um, a brief uh, explanation of Article 61 Magna Carta Lawful Rebellion. Just to clarify something, the reason that I do most of my stuff from my car is because I have terrible, terrible uh, um, uh, digital, what do you call it, internet reception from where where I live. So mobile or fixed, it doesn't matter, it's terrible. So I have to come out in the car and get uh, a good signal so I can put these videos up. And I hope you enjoy them and I hope you subscribe to our channel because if you don't subscribe, subscribe to all of our channels and our pages and our groups, um, and our and our website, you're going to miss out um, on things, or you'll be catching up all the time. And you need to get this stuff, you know, when it's hot off the press. Okay, so um, let me just read you uh, the um, Article 61 from the Magna Carta, and we do have a video that tells you about the validity of uh, of, of Magna Carta and also um, your sovereignty as a, as a sovereign Australian. But we'll get to that in, in another video. This is Magna Carta Article 61. Since we have granted all these things of God for the better ordering of our kingdom and to allay the, the discord that has arisen between us and our barons, this is the, obviously the monarch speaking in the third person, and since we desire that they shall be enjoyed in their entirety with lasting strength forever, we give and grant to the barons the following security. The barons shall elect 25 of their number to keep and cause to be observed with all their might the peace and liberties granted and confirmed to them in this charter, which is the Magna Carta. If we, our Chief Justice, our officials, or any of our servants offend in any respect against any man or transgress any of the articles of the peace or the, of, this, of this security, and the offence is made known to four of the said 25 barons, they shall come to us, or in our absence from the kingdom to the Chief Justice, to declare it and claim immediate redress. If we, or in our absence abroad, the Chief Justice, make no redress within 40 days, reckoning from the day on which the offence was declared to us or to him, the four barons shall refer further matter to the rest of the 25 barons who may dis disdain, distrain upon and assail us in every way possible with the support of the whole community of the land. That's the people. By seizing our castles, lands, possessions, or anything else, saving only our own possession, sorry, our own person and those of the Queen and our children. In other words, you cannot take them prisoner. Until they have secured such redress as they have determined upon. Having secured the redress, they may then resume their normal obedience to us, which is the loyalty to the Crown. Any man who so desires may take an oath to obey the commands of the 25 barons for the achievement of these ends and to join with them in assailing us to the up to utmost of his power. We give public and free permission to take this oath to any man who so desires and at no time we, will we prohibit any man from taking it. Indeed, we, we will compel any of our subjects who are unwilling to take it to swear it at our command. Now, this, is, this means that we are going to swear an oath to, uh, the, the, to the barons, but not as you think we're doing it. And we'll explain that to you a little bit further on. We're going to take an oath to our Commonwealth, to the Commonwealth of Australia, and to, and to us, because it's the people. We are the crown, okay, we, in, in, in Australia. We are the people. We are the people of the Commonwealth. We are sovereign Australians, and that's going to be our oath. If one of the 25 barons dies or leaves the country or is prevented in any way from discharging his duties, the rest of them shall choose another baron in his place at their discretion, who shall be duly sworn in as they were. In the event of a disagreement among the 25 barons on any matter referred to them for this decision, the verdict of the majority present shall have the same validity as the unanimous verdict of the whole 25. Whether these were all present or some of those summoned were unwilling or unable to appear. The 25 barons shall swear to obey all of the above articles faithfully and shall cause them to be obeyed by others to the best of their power. We will not seek to procure from anyone, either by our own efforts or those of a third party, anything by which any party of these concessions or liberties may be revoked or diminished. Should such a thing be procured, it shall be null and void, and we will at no time make use of it, either ourselves or through a third party. So they're not going to take your stuff, okay? 
because they can't under the article. And that's it for Article 61. Oh, and that's it for Article 61. So you can see in there that that's that's a translated copy, um, and it's the, it's the best one I could find. And the the, um, the actual translation into English is not not that flash because ye old ye old English um, it was was a, a little bit hard to comprehend it in some instances. The point is that anyone can swear an oath. To the barons. Now, we're not suggesting that we swear oaths to a baron. What we're saying is our barons are our uh, are the people. We are the people of the Commonwealth. And we're going to explain more of this as we go further along the line of, of um, explaining uh, lawful rebellion and why we need the will of the people. And the, it's the bona fide will of the people, not just a whole bunch of names. So we will be asking you um, to enrol with our Aussie Patriots role, which is going to be used... Um, as bona fide evidence of the will of the people for Wayne's already enacted Article 61 in 2019. Now, Wayne's not a baron. Uh, Wayne is a Commonwealth public officer. And, um, and, and so we're going to uh, swear an oath to, um, to Wayne's Article 61. That's what we're going to do because Wayne, I suppose in a way, um, the barons of our realm, the Commonwealth of Australia, are our, are our CPOs, our Commonwealth public officers. And they are people who have sworn an, a, a lawful, constitutionally lawful oath. A lot of people out there think that if you've sworn an oath, in Australia, that you are CPO. You're not. You have to have sworn your oath, and we'll get to this. Uh, I think it's before 1971. I'm not sure exact on the date, but we'll, we'll explain that to you as we go forward. And this is another reason why you need to subscribe, join, um, enroll, and do all the things that you need to do so you can get access to this information straight away, straight hot off the press. Now, we already have some videos recorded, one on, on, on uh, your sovereignty as a sovereign Australian and one of the validity of the, of the Magna Carta, um, and, and, it, and it dispels all this, the suggestions that Magna Carta is irrelevant and, and uh, doesn't exist anymore because it was changed by the Parliament of the UK. That's not... That can't be done. And if you understand the way that the the the, uh, the Great Charter or the Magna Carta works, it was designed so it couldn't be changed by... Um, elected officials or, or anyone like that it could only it can only be uh, challenged all right and then it must have uh, it must conform to the other articles and it also must conform uh, to um, uh, it, like any changes must conform to basically the will of the peoples because if, if why would the people agree to change something that was to their detriment they wouldn't and you know while there's a lot of uh, things going around about um, um, uh, you know, popes changing uh, or voiding, null and voiding the um, um, the, uh, the 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 Magna Carta. That's not possible either, because in the Magna Carta it doesn't actually mention um, anything about people being able to void it, so it can't be voided. And even though King John went to um, um, to the Pope and said, "Look what they did to me," you know, it was signed under duress. That doesn't that doesn't fly either, because I think it was Henry the Third. Some years later, in um, that was this is in 1215, the Magna Carta. It's I think 1625 something around there, um, and I'm, so, I'm sorry I don't have the dates, but I'm in the car, um, and um, he he all, he declared that the Magna Carta was still alive and kicking. So um, I'm sure he didn't say those words, but it is still very relevant. It was used um, um, as a as a as a I don't know a guide if you like to create our lawful indissoluble Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act 1901. It was used uh, in many constitutions throughout the Commonwealth and throughout the world. Um, it, it's, it's, it was used in the Human Rights Charter. So how can you say that it, it, doesn't, it doesn't exist? The, the document itself, um, in, um, you know, still exists. If it was cancelled, whatever, it wouldn't hold such a high place in status of, of, uh, of historical documents. It would just be another piece of paper, another piece of parchment. So please, please, please don't listen to the rubbish that that's been um, that's been uh, um, perpetrated throughout the community at the moment. Because what it is, it's called conditioning, and it's conditioning you to uh, to to believe, and it's not right that you believe it. That you only have the rights given to you by your government. The government works for us, okay? The monarchy, um, in our mentioned in our constitution, uh, Queen Victoria, her heirs and successors. 
Um, it also mentions Knights Temporal and the Commons, which is the people. Okay, so the Privy Council and all those sort of things that people say, no, they can't help us, um, they can, and they have an indissoluble obligation within our constitution to do so. So we'll get onto that a little bit uh, a little bit later on. But this is talking about Magna Carta now, and and and, and specifically Article sixty one, lawful rebellion. So I hope you you will get um we'll, we will be actually posting copies of all these documents once we find out how to um to put them on our website. So uh, the links will be all in the in the um in the information attached to this video. But you have to subscribe, you have to join us, and you have to enroll on our Lawful uh, Rebellion Aussie Patriot Trial because we need your help, okay? I don't know how many times I can say that. And to all those people out there that are, that are working on state issues, saying, oh, no, no, we're going to do the state. Commonwealth overrides states and territories. So by all means, do whatever you need to do in your states. But also lend your voice to our Commonwealth uh, uh, constitutional action because we need your help. Okay, Advance Australia Fair, as I always say, I love this country. There's my red duster up there. Fly it proudly uh, in the car, um, and, um, you know, it, it goes everywhere with me. So uh, until next time, um, keep the faith. Join us. Enroll with our Aussie Patriot Troll um, and, uh, and subscribe to our channel so that you can get the information. See you later. Advances. Trust.